Good morning, lifestyle lovers. Welcome back to It's E Lifestyle. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Erica. My channel is called It's E Lifestyle. And it is all about creating the lifestyle that you love. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So it is Saturday morning. It's probably about 9.15. And I have maybe 30 minutes in order to kind of clear this area out. So um, if you have been consistently watching my channel, during the time that I was getting my cabinetry done in my kitchen, I kind of talked about putting a coffee bar in this area as well as a seating bench. So um, me and my contractor, we had, you know, we had some issues. If you have been watching my channel, you know all about that. But I thought we probably would have been able to resolve them and we were not. So what I did was I reached out to a company called Closet by Designs. Um, I don't know if they're specific to Jacksonville, but I always kind of see their commercials and see their advertisements. And they do kind of like custom closets. If I'm not mistaken, they've been here before for my master bedroom closet, but I was not, you know, I was not satisfied with the quote that they gave me because my mas master bath, my master bedroom closet is a very small closet and I wanna think they quoted me $3,000 up and I just didn't think it was worth it. Um, it'll probably be more um, efficient for me to do a more cost efficient for me to do an Ikea closet at some point. However, they do other stuff. They don't just do closets, they do garages. They do kind of like crafts room. They, they build cabinetry. So today um, they're gonna come and give me a quote of two basically build a um, seating bench in this area as well as like a coffee bar. Now I have it designed in my head. I'll kind of tell you, I don't think I'm gonna record because they may not wanna be record, record, be recorded and I don't wanna go through all of that of accent or anything, but I'll kind of tell you guys how it goes. I do have a budget. So if it's not within $500 of the budget, I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to go with them, but I don't know. You know, I want to see how much they will say. So basically, I kind of have it designed in my head. When I did my um, kitchen renovation, there was a microwave above my stove, and we removed the microwave, and I replaced it with a, a range hood. Um, but we still do use the microwave. It's stored in the garage, so anytime we have to use it, we have to go in the garage. So there will be a microwave in this cabinetry um, and it will be kind of behind closed doors so it won't be exposed. There will also kind of be like a coffee bar, coffee station. Now the first design that I had in my head, it will be, um, you can kind of see the coffee machine, but I don't think, I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. I think I'm going to have it behind an accordion door and I'll just insert a picture. And that way when I want to make some coffee, I can go make it. I'll have it on like a slide out drawer. drawer. So the, the coffee machine will be on a drawer and I'll just kind of slide it out when I want to make some coffee. So like I said, I have the design in my head. I just kind of have to give the design to them and see how much it will be. And when I'm not making coffee. As I stated, at first I wanted the coffee bar exposed, but I don't think that's the case anymore. So it'll kind of look like a, um, just like a long cabinet when, you know, when I'm not making coffee or whatever the case may be. So this, at the beginning of the year, this is already sold. This is my table. Um, the four chairs are from American Signature. You guys asked me about those um, and they're discontinued or they don't sell them anymore. And this table um, is from Z Gallery. It's part of the Sequoia collection. So this is already sold, but it won't be removed until the first of the year. Typically, I sit here and work. So as you can see, I have my work laptops, my personal laptops. So I'm going to clean this off, kind of move the um, move the table out the way because they're going to have to get over there kind of to do some measurements. And I probably need to do like a little sketch in my head because I have it in my head. I just have to put it on paper. So let me go ahead and clean up this particular area. 
kind of move this table because it's super, super heavy. That way when they come, they're gonna have to get over there and kind of take measurements in order to give me a quote. So I'm kind of getting started back on my home prop, prop, um, project. So that's what we're doing this morning. And I also have another home item that I wanna share with you guys, which is gonna be good to kind of move this table because I'm gonna kind of need the room to see how it works. So let me go ahead and clean off this table and then um, I'll check back in with you guys either before they get here or after they leave. Agree. It's almost like when we first met Oh, I don't care, it's getting too late I want you and I can't wait Don't wanna spend a minute without you I know you feel the same So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch And make me wanna say and yeah, you know what's up Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body So give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're mine, baby So come give me love I never felt nothing quite like this I get a high every time we kiss Can't get enough, baby So come give me love When I'm with you, my legs go weak, yeah. Can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, yeah. This feeling is getting so strong Love me till the morning, love me all night long Okay, Lifestyle Lover, so quickly, just to show you This is the area So the bench will be right here and then the coffee bar as you can see i already have electrical so that's where the plug will be for the microwave but the um, storage bench will go all the way to the top of the ceiling so this is pretty much the area um pretty much where everything is going to be measured at and i want to have like on the bench it'll be like storage either draws or where you can kind of pull back where i can kind of store kind of pots and pans that i don't use on a regular basis that way for my regular cabinetry i can keep stuff that i'm using every day and i don't have to you know it just gives me more storage room it'll just be able to give me more storage room so this is pretty much the area that they need to measure I believe the table, I already have my table picked out. I wanna say it's the same size as this one, which is a 60 inch. So you just measure it across. This is a 60 inch in diameter and the table will kind of be pushed back against the bench and I may only need three chairs. So it'll be a chair right here, a chair right here, and a chair right here. The table will be pushed, pushed against the bench and then it'll just kind of leave more you know just kind of like more space not you know not that i'm having an issue with space in this area but it'll just look a little bit more um a little bit more spacious and i still have you know the seating area that i need in addition to more seating area because the bench will probably hold maybe three to four people so um so they'll be here in probably about 10 minutes i'm gonna go ahead get my measurements ready and some inspiration photos to show show them once they come and then i'll check back in with you guys once they leave okay lifestyle lover so it's probably about two hours later i knew that I was gonna take some time um so the price came in not bad it's probably about a thousand it's probably about a thousand dollars over is it yeah it's probably about fifteen hundred dollars over than what i was expecting but she could not give me an exact price because like i kind of had the design in my head and they have to check with their engineer to see if they can do the particular design but i'm gonna show you guys like a 3d model of 
of what everything will look like and it's kind of hard to tell so this will be the cabinet this area right here will, will be where you know my coffee machine will go up under it is like two like two drawers um, and then below it is a cabinet and then it's a cabinet at the top. So when you open this cabinet, the microwave will be right there. And then above the microwave, there will be additional storage space. This right here, it'll be two huge draws. So that's what they have to determine if, they're, if their engineering department can do that. If not, then I'll have to have then I have to go with like a different design. But this is where the bench will go. It looks a little shorter. Like I say, this is not a good depiction of the design, but you know, it, it'll be exactly how I want it to be. The bench will have a top on it. Of course, I'll buy a cushion and then I'll have, I wanted the two huge drawers to pull out. That way I can pick, pick big items in there, like big pots, big pans, stuff that I don't use every day something that i'll use like a crab pot or whatever the case may be so this is kind of the design that she gave me let me see this is pretty much the design that she gave me and the cabinets will be very similar to my cabinets um that i have in my kitchen so basically i just kind of oh, okay okay lifestyle lover so this is pretty much the new table, I've already picked it out, but it's probably like the same size. So this will kind of save me some money on my chairs. So I only have to get like three chairs. So it'll be one right there, one right here, one right here, and this will be the bench. So basically I'll have a seating area where probably about three people can sit on the bench and then I'll have three chairs. So this is kind of like an idea of how it will look and then I'll have the um, you know like the the cabinetry over here and then the bench and then I'll have additional storage with the two huge draw draws if I can do that I'll have the additional storage under the bench so, so basically that's what I'm planning to do hopefully everything kind of comes together like um like i want it to like i want it to come but i am gonna have to move some of the plugs so i'm gonna have to move the plug there and the plug there so it's gonna be some electrical work but it shouldn't be you know expensive to move the plugs and then i have some other ideas in my head but i'm not going to share those right now but i do have some other things that i'm thinking that i'm going to add to this space as well but of course i have to get this that part done first so um i do have something else i want to share with you guys but i need to wake up just sitting here for two hours and talking and going over measurements and all that stuff kind of got me a little bit sleepy and a little bit tired so i'm drinking some coffee although it's almost noon i'm drinking some coffee so i'm trying to wake up i'm gonna go ahead and kind of put everything back in place and then once i do that then i'll check back in with you guys but i wanted to share um, the design and you know kind of like the results of the design but it's it's not too far off in price it's something it's more than I expected but it's something that I could definitely do so it's definitely definitely doable and then it's going to make a difference in um it's going to make a difference in my kitchen as well so I'll check back in with you guys in a, in a little bit hey lifestyle lovers happy Sunday so today is Sunday I got Mookie with me say hey Mook I'm listening to music huh he listening, listening to music just wave your hand I said hey oh child we headed to the giant white game we got us some tickets and baby it's a long long walk to the stadium so we downtown I just parked and we're headed to Jaguar game. We're playing the Titans. So most of the Jaguar fans know that the Titans is kind of like our rivalry. They always beat us. So this is a very important game. Um, and we got a low walk. I hope y'all can hear me. I'm getting my steps in. Got on my all black. 
all black and then jaguar visor it's probably about 78 degrees today but we're gonna enjoy the game near meeting us out there um my sister is tailgating so we're gonna go to the tailgate first then we're gonna head to the game at one o'clock so i'm hanging with the fam today i'll check back in with you guys once we get to the tailgating spot Hey, lifestyle lovers, happy Sunday. So today is Sunday. It's probably about a week from the last clip. I think the last clip we went to the Jaguar game, um, me, my daughter, Mook, and her girlfriend, we went to the Jaguar game. We had a real good time. We won. That particular game, we played the Tennessee Titans. Um, so this is a new Sunday. <laughs> We won again. We beat the Houston Texans, uh, which was an away game. So I have not picked up the camera at all this week. Um, this week was Thanksgiving. I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. Um, but we had Thanksgiving over to my sister's house. I cooked uh, some turkey wings and some banana pudding. And, you know, everybody just kind of like brought a dish. So, you know, we had a great Thanksgiving. It was just you know, regular Thanksgiving. It was the first Thanksgiving without my nephew, my sister's son who passed in a car accident back in February. I was unsure if we were even going to do Thanksgiving because I did not know how my sister would feel. I know at one time we were talking about doing it, you know, to my house, um, which, you know, her house is, she has a huge home. So, you know, when we were talking about doing it to my house, I just told her, you know, I don't have the capacity to hold as many people as you hold um which she was fine with that then i kind of talked about how you know i did not want to cook all of that heavy food because i don't i don't eat that heavy food like that i may eat it one day which was the day i ate it thanksgiving the only thing that i ate after thanksgiving was the greens the collard greens i love collard greens but everything else like the macaroni and cheese the dressing potato salad all that stuff I didn't eat any of that stuff. I mean, I ate it on Thanksgiving, but I don't eat any of it afterwards. So I suggested to her, maybe we should do like a seafood Thanksgiving and, you know, just kind of have some seafood because I know that's what I'll eat. But we end up doing it to her house, um, you know, and, you know, it was emotional, but we made it through. Um, so I haven't really been feeling like picking up the camera lately. Um, I've been having like a lot of different emotions since me and babe broke up, you know, so sometimes I'm just, you know, relieved about it, you know, because I don't, you know, when you're in a relationship, you kind of have to, you know, be concerned with someone else and worry about other people's feelings, you know, so some days I'm relieved, some days I'm sad, some days I'm mad, you know, so I've been going through a lot of different emotions and I just have not been feeling like vlogging. Um, so, and I think it's important for me to go through those emotions offline opposed to online. You know, this is not the first time I've been through a breakup. So, I know it kind of takes time before you kind of back 100 to your 100% self. But I kind of feel like it's important for me to kind of go through those emotions, process them. And, you know, everything gets better in time. You know, so if anybody's out there is going through anything, just remember you know, stay encouraged. Everything gets better with time. You just kind of have to, you have to go through to get through, you know? So I just kind of been processing. I've been doing, you know, some self-reflecting. I've been doing some soul searching, you know, just kind of thinking about, you know, different things um, and just kind of comparing them to my other relationships and, you know, just kind of figuring out who I am, how I have transitioned as a person in these relationships. And I think that's important as well. So I've been kind of 
processing my feelings, but I prefer to do it not in front of the camera. You know, I, I, you know, I don't mind, you know, sharing some of the things with you guys, but I've been processing some things kind of like just offline period, not necessarily YouTube, but just offline. So, but today is a real rainy day. I kind of just watched the game. I got up and fixed me some, some breakfast, which is a little later on in the evening. But I wanted to unbox something with you guys because if you have been consistently watching my channel, I have been telling you guys that I wanted to get like a robot mop. So I wanted to kind of do some research to see, I wanted to kind of do some research to see which would be the best one because I do have a robot vacuum. But this particular one vacuums and mops at the same time. So I wanna go ahead and open it and as I do that, I'm gonna tell you like a little bit about it. So let's go ahead and unbox our robot, but it is mop and robot combo vacuum. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So let's get into all of the details of my new iRobot mop and vacuum combo. This is the Ultinic T10 Elite. I can use the vacuum feature hands-free for up to 45 days because it automatically empties all of the dust and the trash into a self-empty base. It also is equipped with smart laser navigation technology. It has a 360 degree omnidirectional scanning to map out your entire home. You also do not have to sweep before you decide to mop because you can do it simultaneously sweeping and mopping at the same time. It has total control from anywhere. You can use the Ultimate app to store multiple maps and clean your home at any time. I do have an Alexa, but it's also compatible with Siri and Google Assistant. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so don't forget to check the description box. There will be an exclusive link for all of my lifestyle lovers. If you click on this link, you automatically get $120 off coupon. Plus, there will be an additional discount code to save you $10 off. It is the holiday season. This is a perfect gift for anyone who loves to keep their house clean and do less work, such as myself. So check the description box for all of the details to save on this iRobot mop and vacuum combo. This is pretty much how the vacuum looks. This is the emptying station. Um, so this is where it empties the trash. These are some parts that I'm gonna have to place up under the vacuum. And also some other items that came with it as well. is this, I, I believe this has to be like the mopping feature. It also has a filter and a remote. So this is gonna be fun. I can actually control it with the remote. And then it has some batteries for the remote. So I'm gonna go ahead, read the instructions, see how to get it all together, get it charged up, and see if we can start using it. Hey, lifestyle lovers, happy Friday. So before I close out the vlog, I wanna have like a conversation with you guys. I feel like we need to have a talk. Um, my real lifestyle lovers, we need to have a talk. Before I do that, um, today is Friday, if I did not mention, I'm on vacation. I kinda took like a vacation day um, cause you know, it's getting towards the end of the year and I have some vacation to kinda burn. I don't want to roll it over and I kind of feel like I need, you know, needed a day just to, you know, just kind of not have to worry about work. Um, Mook is going with his dad after school so I can just kind of have, 
my Friday to myself. Um, but before I close out the vlog, I wanted to share my Amazon order with you guys for this month. So typically what I do is I all, I'm always, always adding things to my Amazon cart. Like anytime I see somebody share something like on YouTube, I'll add it to my cart. And I order from Amazon like once a month. Unless it's something that I need right then, I'll do like a once a month order. So I'll kind of go through my cart and kind of see what I need right now. And then I'll save other things for later. Um, so I just wanted to share what I purchased this month. It's not a lot of stuff. I try to kind of make sure that I'm not, um, that I stay below a hundred dollars because, because I will spend all my money on Amazon if I'm not careful. So what I did order was, which is kind of like a reorder. I think I shared this with you guys before. These are the Ashwagandha gummies. So my OBGYN, she recommended these to me. These help with anxiety. Um, it's like a natural supplement, you know, to kind of prevent me from having to go on any type of prescription medication. I want to avoid that. So I just want to try to find natural ways to target my anxiety. It does help. It does help. I've been taking them for, I think this is probably like my third bottle. But these were recommended by my, by my OBGYN. Um, so I've been taking these and I'll link them below if you're interested. But, you know, they do help. Also, I got another order of my lashes, which are the ones that I'm wearing today. I absolutely love these lashes and I do not want to run out. So um, I just ordered. This is, I think, I think it's like four sets for $10. These are the Ardell Natural 104. I love these. They are, they're, they're kind of subtle, but at the same time, they're a little bit glam because I don't want to be too glam and I don't want it to be too subtle where it doesn't like enhance my looks. So I want to make sure I never run out of these. Um, so I ordered another one of those. And also I ordered these um, pants hangers. Now, Sharika B shared these on her channel. I think she purchased hers from at home. Um, and I, if I'm not mistaken, I wanna say one of them was like $5.99, maybe like $6 at, at, at home. But this is a set of three. And I wanna say this set of three was like $12. It could have been a little less, but I'll link them below. So these are kind of the hang your pants and the hang your jeans. I know for next year, I want to do like some closet organization. I want to get rid of some stuff. I try to kind of hold on to some stuff. I try to, uh, I have a problem with getting rid of things. So I want to kind of get started on some closet organization. So these are going to help with that. And also I purchased these uh, bra inserts. There's some bra inserts, like silicone bra inserts. Someone shared these on their best Amazon list or something like that, and I ordered these. So they're like, um, some people call them chicken cut, not chicken cutlets, but some people call them cutlets. So, you know, you kind of insert them in your bra or you can insert them in a top to kind of give you a little bit more cleavage. I don't have on anything where I can kind of show you how they work, but they have them in medium and large, and I just purchased a medium so um yeah you just put you just place them inside of your bra and they gently lift your breast slightly up upward so you know i'm part of the little titty committee so <laughs> if you could use these i'll link everything below so i wanted to kind of share that share this with you guys before i put this stuff up but let me go ahead and um kind of get this stuff out of the way and then we'll go over to the living room because I want to have like a quick talk with you guys before I close the vlog out. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So the only reason that I have not changed my hair out is because I'm waiting on a unit to come. Um, but I think I'm going to have like my daughter like redo my ponytail this weekend. But I'm waiting on a unit to come so I should be sharing that with you guys pretty soon because it's supposed to come today. So um, I'm waiting like on, um, I'm going to do like a hair review. So I have that coming up. So I'm still kind of rocking the same hairdo, which I'm kind of tired of it, but it kind of is what it is. But anyway, um, if you've seen, bring you guys down a little bit. 
Okay. Okay. So if you seen the last Okay. If you seen the last vlog, I shared on that vlog that me and Babe broke up. And in that vlog, I was talking about challenges that me and Babe had. Mostly I was talking about me um for the most part but the the video was kind of taken out of context i don't know if you guys have noticed but i took that part out talking about the challenges that me and babe was having because it was just people were calling him and you know stating that i was speaking negatively about him which was not true um but as i stated in that video people were going to um take you know, whatever they wanted to kind of take from it. And it just, it was being misconstrued and I did not like that. I'm gonna tell you one thing about me. I do not speak negatively about people online. I would never do that. He knows that. Me and him had a very thorough and extensive conversation regarding that. If you check my digital footprint, I have never spoke negatively about anybody online people that i'm not friends with used to be friends with that's just something that i do not do um and one thing about me i'm not gonna let anything that is said online or anything you know that's posted on social media to affect my real life this is my real life um and although i put it out there for public consumption i realized that i probably should not have done that but when i was speaking to that video i was speaking to my lifestyle lovers my true lifestyle lovers there are people that watch my channel that truly support me and i'm talking about truly support me i've never met you know most of my lifestyle lovers but you know we talk in the comments you guys have been following me on my entire journey of you know renovating my home following me on my entire journey you know of you know raising mookie i know that i have true lifestyle lovers out there so when i was speaking i was speaking to them but i have people that you know are not subscribed to my channel people that just kind of came to watch the video the video had almost twenty thousand views and most of you know my vlogs do not do those type of numbers they do not do those type of numbers at all so i realized a lot of people was kind of coming to watch the video and things that i was things that i said was taken out of context you guys have watched me most of my lifestyle lovers have watched my me and babe's journey from the very beginning from the very time we went on our very first date i told you guys how we met we've been knowing each other since we were very little kids so so <clears throat> so <clears throat> so during that time i have never said anything negative about babe so it's not a flex for me to come on here and say something negative about him now that we're not together you know so i was more so speaking about me but i think it was taken out of context i could not take the video down because it did have sponsored content in it um i had some sponsored content in it from dossier but i went in and i edited the video and i took that part out because you know my life is not for sale you know i did not do it to get views i was being transparent with my true lifestyle lovers but i know everybody that watches me are not you know watching with good intentions i realize that now um and i kind of thought about just stop vlogging all together but i don't think i'm gonna do that <clears throat> but i will be honest my vlogs may look a lot different moving forward you know because it's just it's kind of like it's a trust issue now because i don't know who's actually watching who's taking things back you know i just i don't know i, I just <sighs> I'm feeling different about um, about vlogging now. I'm feeling a lot different about vlogging. So I'm not gonna stop vlogging. I do have some sponsored content that's coming up um, in the month of December. I'm, I'm not doing vlogmas at all, but um, I will continue to share. It just may be, it, it may be different. So I just wanted to kind of, you know, have that conversation and the people that I'm speaking to when I say that are the people that truly support my channel. But you know, I have some lifestyle lurkers out there, um, you know, which, you know, me and babe had a conversation about it. You know, we're good, we're not on any bad terms. He did not do anything to me. You know, we had new couple challenges that unfortunately 
we were not able to get past and that happens. You know, I'm no exception to the rule. You have celebrities out here that have millions and millions of dollars that are getting divorces and getting breaking and, and, and breaking up. You know, I'm no exception to the rule. I'm a regular lady that lives in Jacksonville that went through a breakup, you know. So um, I just wanted to say that and that's pretty much it for this uh, vlog lifestyle lovers. If you are interested in the uh, the vacuum mop combo, the uh, iRobot vacuum mop combo, there will be a link in the description box to kind of save you some money, that's kind of save you a significant amount off of it if you decided, you know, to purchase it, even if you decided to purchase, purchase it as a Christmas gift. So be sure to check the description box for that information. I do have some winners that I have to announce. I have not forgot forgotten about that. So um, I, have a, I have some winners I have to announce for the dossier giveaway as well as before I went to London, I did like, um, you know, guess where I'm going. And I have, uh, and the first person to guess that uh, was, I forgot, but I, but I have it, I have it in my phone. So I do have two winners that, um, that are going to get prizes. I have not forgotten about that. It's just things kind of been a little crazy lately, as you guys know, but I will be doing those giveaways sometime in the month of December. I just wanted to kind of remind you guys that I have not forgotten about that. Um, I think I'm going to start another vlog. I want to run some errands. I may um, go, you know, maybe try to get some stuff, you know, Christmas decorations, because I have not put my tree up. It is December the 1st, but I plan to do it this weekend. Um, I'm not even sure I'm going to be in town for Christmas, but, um, you know, with everything that has been going on, like decorating has been the farthest thing from, from my mind, but I am going to put the tree up and I may, I may get some more Christmas decorations cause I'm thinking about doing like a different color scheme, but that's pretty much it for this video. Lifestyle lovers. I hope you enjoyed it. Anything that I mentioned as always will be linked in the description box. I hope you have a great week, a great weekend. Whenever you're watching this, I love you guys. My true lifestyle lovers. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.